Hello, you crafty crafters out there, you lovely viewers and beautiful subscribers. I'm Neerim Mothra, but you can call me Neerim. And I want to do something with buildings. I am very terrible at buildings. I mean, I'll show you some pictures here and here, but <sighs> I'm just terrible. Um, but watching Claret Creations um, Gatehouse, I think it was. Yes, Gatehouse. It kind of made me want to try doing a building again. So I kind of asked. And a witch hut or witch house or whatever. A witch home, basically. <clears throat> to do that. So I thought, why not? It's going to be yay big, you know. Nothing over the top. Something, something simple, but with quite a few details that I want to do. And I just, just want to push myself. Because I, like I said, I'm terrible at doing buildings, and I just want to go a little bit one step forward in making it, if you know what I mean. I mean, most of the stuff I build, building is like nature, ruins, all that kind of things, but not enough buildings. So, God. Take a shot every time I say building all the time. <laughs> but yeah, um, that's what I'm going to do, and I shall shut up and carry on.
am truly amazed with myself at how I did this, to be honest. <laughs> I'm, I'm still just how it looks. I mean, come on. What the heck? I did this. What? <laughs> Sorry. Mm. I literally had no clue. I had no skills whatsoever with houses. Um, what the heck is this? I did this. <laughs> to be honest, it's mostly because I've been watching a load of YouTubers on how to do this kind of stuff. Um, why I wanted to do something like this because I've watched Cleric Creations um Gatehouse Yes, Gatehouse and it kinda wants kinda wanted to do something more buildy type of thing and um Yeah <laughs> I'm truly amazed with myself at how it's come out. Sorry. <laughs> I, I, it just really blows my mind if you put the work in it, you can make stuff like this. If I can make it with just paper mache, this, paper mache, shingles out of pizza box, <laughs> and coffee stir sticks. That you can get from Amazon, then you can you can probably make it as well. No, not probably. You can. So do your best. All right.
Right. There's something I want to try, and this is from Crossing Crack that I've learned from. You get like a toothpick and a hot glue, and you do like small little blobs. But, you know? Just for like, like vegetation or something. Like, I want to have the witch hut to have some sort of like herb or something like that hanging, you know. So, um, like I said, I learned it from Crossing Crafts, and uh, I will link it down below. If you want to have a look, I got it from, uh, I think it was uh, Zelda of the Wild, um, like the dye shop the video that I've uh, got it from. So that's what I'm gonna do. Let's blow. So, like I said, toothpick, hot glue, and just do some blobs. And then once it's cooled down, I'll paint it like green or something. And here we have it, my little witch hut, which was recommended by Cleric Creation. If you want to see his channel, I'll link it down below. But, <laughs> oh my god, look how cute it is! I even put a carpet at the front door! <laughs> Absolutely cute and adorable, and I love it. Uh, you wouldn't have thought this is paper mache, but this is paper mache. And if you want to, wondering how I do these like squiggly lines, right here. It's all it is is a toothpick, really. Get a wet paper mache, and I just like, dabbed it. So I can get all the nooks and crannies as well, but I just dabbed it really. That's all I did. I got all these little grooves and stuff. And for the door handle, I used a like it has some like wire somewhere. I put it somewhere, but but I've just made a little hook and hot glued it onto the door. 
you look at the carpet, okay. All I did was use some, some fabric that I used for that. My little hanging hood and stuff is so cute. And just painted it purple and put it on there. But I'm really happy how it turned out. I mean, I could have made it the whole house wood, but I want to like break it apart, not just this one whole thing in wood. My favorite is the cauldron there. How cute is this cauldron? That's absolutely cute. I can love that. I, I, I love everything. I, lo I just love how my house has turned out. If you've been on my channel for a bit, you might have seen the um, the Karen house. It's just this ugly little just square block. That is it. It's, it's truly amazing if you how much you work on a project and just give it the whole god you, you can make something amazing I am dead pleased with myself with this if my mum loves it but she's not having it <laughs> so yeah uh, I'm really happy how it turned out if you guys like it please let me know leave a look leave a like thumbs up you know Subscribe if you truly like my stuff. I'm not gonna force you. And leave a comment if you think I can like improve on some things. I do not mind the tips. So yeah, I'll let you have a good close up of this, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Oh.